Thank you for turning to page 121. Welcome to another episode of page 121. Today we're going to talk about Gord the Rogue. This is a series of books written by Gary Gygax in the 80s. The first two he wrote before he left TSR, and the last five were after he left TSR. These are fun books that give a great look at Greyhawk. I'm going to go into a little bit on each one. I'm going to warn. I'm not going to try to put too many spoilers in here, but I won't guarantee there won't be any. So I'm going to tell a little bit about Gord's progression, and that may give away some of the story. If you plan on reading these, which I recommend highly, uh, you might want to turn the video off at this point. So here we go. We're going to start with the first of the set, which is going to be Saga of Old City. This one begins with Gord as a young boy living in the slums of Greyhawk and tells how he gets in with the Beggar's Guild and progresses up to becoming a powerful player character. Uh, it's really interesting. Gord is a thief and then later an acrobat. So he's a thief acrobat. Uh, Gygax makes it work. The writing style is definitely... Oh, look at that. Spellfire bookmarker. Uh, the writing style is definitely uh, pulp. Uh, would tend probably to appeal more to men than women. Uh, that doesn't mean women couldn't enjoy these. There's a nice little map of the Flanus, uh, specifically the eastern Flanus, the parts that Gord uh, deals with throughout the adventure. Uh, I really enjoy these. They're not high literature. Uh, they are written basically as pulp adventures. They're a lot of fun. Uh, I've read them many, many times. I can pretty much recite all seven of these. So that's the end of uh, book one. At the end of book one, Gord and his friend Chert and his druid friend and kind of mentor Curly Greenleaf battle a demon in a hidden area in the Karen Hills and uh, get a treasure that affects the rest of the series. So now we go on to uh, book two, Artifact of Evil. Artifact of Evil, in my opinion, has a great D&D party flavor. Curly, Chert, and Gord go questing up into the Vesvi Forest near the lands of Ayus, dealing with a situation with the Artifact of Evil. Again, I don't want to give away too many uh, spoilers in this. No bookmark in this one. Uh, the uh, guy in the green dragon there, that's Ro Lord Robolar. He's never named in the book, but it's pretty obvious who he is. Uh, Again, I like this one. This is the best actual adventure or feel of any of the seven. Then we come to Knight Errant. Knight Errant is kind of set between books one and two. So you could actually put them in this order. Because Knight Errant is a series of short stories that take place pretty much within the city of Greyhawk and its environs with Chert and Gord and then later just Gord. Um, there's also a short story in Dragon 100, Dragon 338, uh, that are also set about this same time. In fact, I found the Gore the Rogue series because I bought my copy of Dragon 100, sat down to read it, came across the short story at Moonset Comes Black Cat, and thought, wow, there's novels of these? And ran out to the store and bought my first two. Remember, back pre-internet days, we didn't have, uh, advanced knowledge of a lot of this. There's another Spellfire card, and then uh, Knight Errant also is special to me because, yes, that is an actual Gary Gygax 1987 Gen Con autograph. Uh, in fact, it's the only autographed anything I have. Uh, this was when Gary had left, uh, he had left uh, TSR. And formed New Infinities Productions, which was the imprint that, that did the rest of the Gord books. These Gord books can be a little confusing because Gygax couldn't use a lot of the names of the characters and the places, so he had to substitute. It's not that tough to figure out if you know Greyhawk. If you need a little help, there are plenty of online sources to help you well, with that end of it. Next we come to Sea of Death. Sea of Death's a lot of fun. You go into the Sea of Dust. Uh, Gord is traveling there. At first alone, and then later with a companion. Uh, again, in search of the uh, MacGuffin of the entire story, which is the Artifact of Evil. I don't want to give away too much of what's going on in these books. The Sea of Death is one of my favorites of this series. Probably my second favorite after Artifact of Evil. 
uh, just because it, it's really good detail on a lot of the uh, the flanus and uh, different uh, parts of the flanus to the west. So you get a lot of nice looks there. City of Hawks is a little different. City of Hawks is kind of a prequel. It goes back to when Gord was a baby and tells the tale of who he really is and uh, where his parents are and uh, his destiny to come up and become what he is by the end of the books. Uh, it, this is a good one. It's almost a series of short stories told in novel form. It's definitely a good read. It fits kind of across the first four books. So you kind of have to read the others and then read City of Hawks to kind of get the whole gist of it. Okay, the next one. Come Endless Darkness. I love this one. This one's a lot of fun. Uh, they're the uh, Curly, Chert, Gord, and Gellor, the bard who Gord meets in one of the earlier books have to travel into the tower of an evil sorcerer in Greyhawk and uh, take care of him. The sorcerer's gravestone. And this has a very, very strong uh, Castle Greyhawk vibe to it. It's the wizard's tower. It's not Castle Greyhawk. But it's still, this is uh, a fun story. Let's see if I got a bookmark. Yep, got another bookmark in there. Bob Yaga's Dancing Hut. So, and then last but not least, Dance of Demons. This wraps up the entire saga. By this point, Gord is a very powerful character, uh, so is Galar, and it goes on to detail uh, what happens in the final bid with the evil artifact that they've dealt with through all the other books. And no bookmark in this one. So, these are a lot of fun. I, I really enjoy these. Uh, there's a lot of plane travel in uh, Come Endless Dark, or Dance of Demons. There's a ton of plane travel there. There's a lot of pocket planar stuff in Come Endless Darkness. City of Hawks gives a lot of good detail on Greyhawk plus the Plane of Shadows. Sea of Death gives you the Baclunish West as well as the Sea of Death. Death. Uh, Night Errant is just a very good group of short stories. The first of which actually does take place in Castle Greyhawk. Artifact of Evil, a very good party adventure, and then of course the beginning saga of Old City. I would not recommend reading these out of order. Uh, it would be very, very tough to follow. These are available pretty much on eBay. I couldn't find an ebook for them, uh, but I could find them on eBay or even on Amazon. The prices are higher, but not outrageous. These books are 35 years old, uh, published from 85 to 89. The first two, of course, under the uh, TSR imprint before Gary left TSR, and then the new Infinities to finish it out. Uh, as I said, Gary couldn't use the proper place names or character names for a lot of things uh, in the last five books, but if you know Greyhawk, it's pretty darn easy to figure out. Uh, that's it. I, I recommend these books very highly if you are into Greyhawk. These will give you a very, very nice feel for the Flannus. And uh, I use the Evil is a prominent character through almost all the books. We also get to meet Eclavdra. She of the uh, Drow fame. Uh, she's a prominent figure in several of the earlier books. Uh, Igwilv is uh, prominent in most of the books. And Zogdmoy, the goddess, the, the demon goddess of fungi. Or demoness of fungi. I don't think she's actually a goddess. Uh, and the various plans to take over the, the earth. A worth. Also grazed the demon. And it goes a little bit into uh, Ives' parentage between grazed and Igwolf. So a lot of deep knowledge for Greyhawk in these books. If you are a Greyhawk fan, uh, these books are written in a pulp style. So for instance... If you write like the old Fafford, uh, Fafford and Grey Mouser, there's a very similar style. Also the old Conan novels. I'm a big Doc Savage fan myself. And these read, uh, these read pretty much like one of those without the slang. So if you have a taste for that kind of writing, these are definitely the books for you. Well, that's it for page 121. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and subscribe. 
Well, that closes the book on another episode of page 121. Please leave your comments below, and if you enjoyed what you saw, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.